Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rahel and I have a new curvy or not curvy approved video for you guys. And in today's video we're actually talking about H&M jeans. I know, I know. Nobody really, th I mean, I don't really think about each jeans when I think about H&M. But I was in a mall and I was walking around and I saw the H&M store sign and I was just like, you know what, let me just randomly go and pick out some jeans and see if they are actually curvy approved or not. To all my subscribers, welcome back and to everybody new, hi everybody. If you are a thick girl or a curvy girl, you might want to hit that subscribe button because I dedicate my videos to you. I'm also actually gonna start creating videos all around beauty and hair so because you're not only probably not only curvy you probably also have hair and care about skincare so don't forget to hit that notification bell to always be alerted when I post something because right now I don't have a real schedule so I don't know when I really post I don't know about you guys, but I am not really a huge H&M fan per se because I just don't vibe with their style or their material or like just in general their clothing. Anyways, I went in and I was looking for jeans and I found some random picks and crazy thing is it was so random, like I literally picked out random jeans that I by accident picked up a freaking low waist jeans, like I don't even know what to do with it. but. I was writing my script and I, I, I just realized that I did that, so I guess we're gonna try on a low waist today, you know, why not, damn. The sizing is pretty weird, um, even the, the sales assistant told me that they don't really know what size they have because sometimes they pick their size and it wouldn't, and the jeans or like the pants wouldn't um, fit them, or really have to pick, like you really just have to try each and every jeans on there, I guess. So, two jeans were $40, one jeans was $30, and it came up to $110. There was no sales or no discounts. It was just a regular price, just regular schmegalo. And I picked um, two 28s and one 29 slash 30, um, just based on like, like how stretchy they were. And they are pretty stretchy, like when I did the little test. I was able to stretch them out pretty well so I just was comfortable enough to just pick the 28 also I always put down my measurements and the sizes I wear in other stores in the description box below so just go ahead and watch and check that out I consider myself a pure shape so if you go ahead and watch this video you will find out which shape you are so you will know if this video is going to be from benefit <laughs> But I got these press-ons on and I'm so, so, so sure that these gonna break me while me trying to like get in these pants. But hey, <laughs> let's just see how many. So we have nine left. Let's see how many I'm gonna have left <laughs> after this video. So keep on watching. <laughs> anyway, so let's start with the low waist one. I don't even know where we're heading with this because <laughs> look at this. Nah, this is crazy. Who? Who? What? How? How's my stomach gonna be covered up? My stomach's just gonna hang, chill out here? This low waist jeans is called the push up low legging. Jaggins. It's the Jaggins too. I mean, it's pretty stretchy. It's stretchy, but it doesn't feel like a Jaggins. So, this is good. It actually feels like a precious jeans. It's a cute jeans, don't get me wrong. It's just a little wasted. Who does that? Oh. Consists of 83% cotton, 50% polyester, and then 2% spandex. All right, let's just try it on. Yes. Okay, how sway? Damn. Yo, wait, am I actually wearing a low waist jeans right now? And it doesn't look bad? Wait. Okay. 
did we just miss out on on like low waist jeans guys is that what's happening right now because this cheese looks fire guess where let's see let me drop it low and like there is Actually not bad. The pants are super comfortable. I'm dropping it low and have zero problems doing so. I can literally move it around. No problem. <laughs> Wait. I actually love these jeans. Like this looks actually great. The only problem I would have with this jeans would be that, you know, the stomach would be always out. Like, you know, with the high-waisted jeans, you can always like cover up your stomach, or like you get you basically hide your stomach in your jeans. But now the stomach could, would be just out. We have no gap because the stretch is on point. The length is cute. The jeans overall is just so cute and beautiful. This is actually so cute. What? Y'all, are we reconsidering? Because who would have thought? But y'all, I think I found a low waist of jeans to keep. Y'all, comment if you would keep that one. Because I'm not sure if I want to keep it. Because I don't know. I think I'm gonna like. Actually, it's not. It's not. It doesn't look like I would. You would see my my booty crack when I sit down. Okay, on to the next one. Took off jeans number one, and I still have nine nails. Right? Yeah, nine nails. So number two is the blue skinny high waisted in dark blue, and here we have a high waisted jeans, which we like, which we know, which we comfortable in, which we are not surprised by. This is in a size 28. It says 29 on here, which is just a straight up lie because, oh, you know what? I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's right and wrong because here it says 28. Oh, European, European 28. Anyways, this is a 28. This high-waisted jeans consists of 92% cotton, and then 6% Elasterol P and Elastane 2%. So that means a total of 8% in elastic material, which we adore because, you know, elastic material is always a good thing, but it's still a pretty jean. So it doesn't give me like a leggings vibe or a jacket vibe, so I like that. And it's a super skinny jean, so it'll be glued to your thigh to your ankle, to your knee, to the booty, to everywhere. So, you know what I'm saying. Yes, let me try it on, let me see. Yo, all right. Yo. Here we have it, the first nail is broken. <laughs> this is so weird. This has apparently so much elastic material in it, but it, I'm having the hardest time to get it up. Alrighty, so I got into the pants and I'm definitely gonna lose this one too because <laughs> this is what happened. This happened when I was trying to close uh, the jeans. It's definitely not my size. Like, I'm not, this is not it, this ain't it. It's a 28 European, is it a European? It's an American 28, no, a European 28. But then it says 29 on the jeans. I don't understand. Y'all confusing. Did I do the, the little test? I don't even think I will get up. <laughs> Let me try. Okay. I'm off though. All right. Um, I don't even know what to say. Dang it, not my size. You guys fail. 
can't drop it low that that well and there's definitely going to be some some leaking in the back um, but I think I like the color and I like how high waisted it is or how waisted how high waisted it could be if it would not stop in my crotch here like halfway it's pretty long but that's just because it doesn't fit and there's no gap in the back no gaps at itching out try the third and last one on it's basically the same as the second one but in black and y'all it would be so funny if this one fits it says that it has 93% um, cotton and then 7% um, elastic material so it's even like less stretchy I guess so uh, let's just see it says it's a 28 on the tag and it also says it's a 28 on here which is definitely different than what the blue skinny one said for the record there's still eight nails okay let's try it on this is pretty much the same jeans but I can definitely say that this fits better or like actually fits me let's see how it looks like from up here it's not really stretchy though but you can like drop it low. What do you guys think? I feel like this is a really good looking jean. I think this looks really nice. There's no gap. Isn't it so weird that I have the exact same jeans I just tried to wear and it wouldn't work at all and like this one just looks so nice. I guess that's what they were talking about, the sales associates at H&M, that you really never know. Alright you guys, so I tried on all the three jeans I had and I have to say that my favorite jeans was the low waist because it felt the most comfiest and it was there was no gap and it fit well. I think the low waist jeans was my favorite which is super odd who would have thought yo i'm i'm dropping bars bro um, the blue skinny high-waisted didn't really fit and then the black skinny high-waisted which is pretty much the same fit pretty well but didn't give me a comfrey like didn't give me comfort so i'm probably not going to keep that one just because it's just not stretchy enough for me to feel comfy and like walking around and sitting down i feel like i have to go back and like try on different or more h&m jeans to say what's up because that low waist if that low waist jeans just like threw me off like i didn't expect that so maybe h&m is good for curvy girls in terms of low waist jeans i don't know i have to figure it out but um yeah this that was my video for the week we ending the video with seven and a half nails if you're still watching like that means you really you really care about my videos and i appreciate that so much and i will definitely see you soon bye